And welcome back. Wenatchee Wild came up short in the Robertson Cup championship game last night, losing to the Amarillo Bulls 5-0. to zero. The Bulls were the aggressor from the start and were determined not to have a repeat from the night before when the Wild shut out Amarillo 7-0. to zero. Wenatchee goalie Robert Nichols recorded 19 saves, but final shot totals for the game favored the Bulls 24-16. to 16. Two Wenatchee players, however, were named to the all-tournament team, forward Chris Kerr and defenseman Dylan Abood. Wild fans were certainly disappointed by last night's outcome, but it paled in comparison to the press release that came out this morning. Last night's game turned out to be the last for the Wenatchee Wild. They'll be relocating their NAHL membership to Hildago, Texas, and begin play at their new home next season as the Rio Grande Valley Killer Bees. In the press release, team president Bill Stewart said, we are excited about the move to the Rio Grande, Rio Grande Valley and our mission to field a championship caliber team every season remains the same. The area has a great hockey tradition and we believe that the region and surrounding community will embrace and support the NAHL. Stewart said that the current Wenatchee Wild head coach, Bliss Littler, and his staff are expected to be part of the relocation. Stewart said at a news conference in Texas today that while the team was successful in Wenatchee, he could not work out a new contract with the town Toyota Center to continue leasing the facility. KGBT Television reported Stewart said the decision to move the team was an easy one. The team's current five-year contract with the town Toyota Center in Wenatchee expires tomorrow. The NAHL is the oldest and largest junior hockey league in the United States with 24 teams representing 13 states, which is one state less than it was yesterday. 